Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to attempt to fix this uh, passenger um, seatbelt uh, button that's not coming on when someone is in the passenger seat and doesn't have the seatbelt um, buckled. So to show you why it's, what's not working, I'm going to turn on the car. And I'm sitting in the passenger seat right now and uh, uh, the light is not blinking. I'm gonna buckle up here and for a second, uh, okay, let me buckle up real quick. Okay, I'm buckled up and of course it's not on, it shouldn't be on when you're buckled. And I'm gonna take it out and at this point it should be blinking. Um, just to let you know, the seat belt for the driver's side is blinking because no one is sitting there. So that's working. And there are a couple of areas where you can check. One of them is the bulb behind this unit. And um, uh, I will check that. But before I do that, I'm going to check the switch where the actual buckle is. Because there's a possibility that the switch is dirty inside and it's got some debris in it over time and uh, it may have gone bad so there's a procedure that actually tests it so i'll be back i'm gonna uh, undo the seat and uh, turn it over and i'll be back to show you how thanks okay everyone i got the seat belt or the seat uh, upside down here this is the connection and uh, that you're going to be testing. So make sure you disconnect this blue wire. And uh, looking at it from this angle, the top right is one, the left top is number two, bottom right is number three. So one, two, and then three on the bottom. So when the buckle is off, which is this position right, right now the buckle is not connected okay so we want to check continuity between the number two which is the top left and the bottom right all right so we're gonna check the continuity between the number two bear with me and number three and there is no continuity at all. That means that the buckle being off is not working. Let me just double check. Always double check. Nothing. Make sure the, the things are not touching each other. The probes. Okay. So the next, I'm going to put the seatbelt buckle on and check the number three. Okay, now it's connected. And I'm gonna check the continuity between number th number three and number one. One second. there that works okay so number number one and three are working so let's go double check that off position I'm gonna unbuckle again and I'm gonna check number two and number three this time I'm gonna hold it a little bit nothing on the display on the voltmeter so that means it's not working, which I expected not to be working because in the off position, the passenger seatbelt light is not coming on. So I expect not to be working. So my next thing would be to take this thing apart and see if I can clean it. If I can clean it and test it and make sure it works, that's great. If not, I'm going to have to replace this switch. Okay, guys, I cleaned this uh, part here, but it didn't really work. Um, this is all sealed. The only way to get inside of it is to break it really 
And I noticed another thing that if you shake it, there's a rattle inside the part. So I'm guessing something is broken. Here's a new part I got, and look, there's nothing, there's no rattle at all. So we're gonna check the continuity between number two and number three, because at this point, seat belt is disconnected. And uh, if I can get this on. There. That shows continuity. And between one and two, I'm sorry, one and three, there is no continuity, which is the way it should be. So this part is gonna work. And here's the part number for the Lexus RX uh, 1999 to 2003. This is the ivory. Now these bolts uh, is gonna go, you're gonna install it with the red button toward the outside, toward the driver. This is on the passenger side. The bolt's gonna just go this way. I'm guessing the washer is gonna go this way. But I'm gonna compare that with the right side, with the, I'm sorry, with the driver's side to make sure that's the right part. That's the right section. And then uh, this bolt needs to be installed at 32 foot per pound to the chassis, to the car. And that's important because you don't want this part to come off when the car gets involved in an accident. All right, be back. Thank you. Okay, folks, uh, the, the seat belt switches in and you wanna make sure that it moves up and down like that. And um, the seats are in and we're just gonna test it. So at this point, what you wanna do is uh, turn the key in the to the on position. You don't have to turn the car on. As you can see, fantastic, it's blinking. The passenger seat belt is blinking because it's not it's not buckled. Now I'm gonna buckle it and see what happens. Okay, let's buckle this thing. There you go. And that's working too, fantastic. I unbuckle it and it's gonna link again. Beautiful, this is what I wanted. So that the passenger is gonna put the seat belt on. Now, there is a, there is a bulb behind this unit and uh, it, unfortunately the bulb is part of the, uh, the circuit board. So if you're gonna replace the bulb, you're gonna have to unsolder and solder a new bulb in there. Uh, Lexus doesn't sell the switch anymore. You may be able to find a few on eBay. That's all folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave me your comments and uh, uh, likes or unlikes. Thank you. See you again.